Welcome back to Learn Golf with Cassie. We're doing a follow-up to more speed at the right place, which is at the impact. So this is the throw-down drill. We saw it in action last time, and now I'm going to put it onto the um, wrap soda. I'm going to do three shots without the throw-down and three shots with the throw-down. We'll see the difference in obviously the club speed, ball speed and carry but also if there's any difference in dispersion right and left. I'm going to do it with a pitching wedge, seven iron and five iron. Okay, let's get into it. So we've got actually did four shots with the normal pitching wedge and four shots with the throw down. Here are the normal pitching wedges and you can see club head speed between 74 and uh, 78, but mostly around 74, 75. Ball speed, 91, 92, 92. Carry, nine, 118, 119, 121. And the dispersion were really tight, only a yard or two to the left, or pretty straight. The other four shots, to which were with the throw down, and you can see the club speed has jumped by four to six miles per hour, 82, 77, 81, 81. And the ball speed has jumped up a little bit, not massively, not as big as the club speed, but 97, 19, 4, 97, 95. So it's gone up by, again, a few miles per hour and smash smash factor pretty similar across all of them um, and the side carry again all very straight so the throw down gave us between five and seven yards further carry and that's see more speed at the right place if we move to the seven iron again the first four one two three four were my kind of stock shot and they were around 83 to 85 and ball speed 110, 111, 108 and fairly decent smash factors side carries all very straight carry distance 148, 155, 142, 149 if we go and look at the throw down drill We've actually had pretty much the same club speed, but the speed at the bottom has increased the ball speed by between five, about four to six miles per hour of speed, and actually pretty much the same smash factor. And so the carry 155, 156, 164, and 157 so we've jumped up about five yards in carry so if you need that little bit extra distance without wanting to go up a club the throw down is one way to get it. and the final set five iron we've got one two three of the stock swing speed so you can see club speed 88, 86, 89, ball speed 118, 117, 118, smash factors all very good, very straight shots carrying a 160, 162, 162. If we do the throw down drill, we've got the club speed up by 5 miles per hour, ball speed up by 7 six to seven miles per hour smash factor is about the same didn't quite hit these as straight as the other ones but we've got a carry now of 166 167 and 170 so we're jumping up by about five yards again definitely you can see from the stats my easy swing with the impact without going the throw down was giving me good results that would be my stock swing but if I want to get a little bit more, I would um, 
do the throw down if I need that extra five, six yards. And you can see the club speed and ball speed was getting up there to give me a little extra carry yard. So if you need it, I'm not saying you have to go for it with a throw down on every shot, but if you do need it, you don't have to change your swing and you can get that extra yardage without trying to jump on it. Just that little bit of a, you know, added speed in the wrists at the ball and you are laughing. Okay, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification button if you want to know when our videos come out. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.